Hi vlog, welcome back. I actually am starting this vlog on a Wednesday. It is Wednesday, October 18th. So on today's agenda, I wanted to bring a bunch of my scrap fabric to the scrap exchange because I just have so much and it's taking up so much room and I'm just realistically not gonna use all the scraps, but I'm also gonna check if they have some yarn for a commission that I'm working on. So he wanted two hats and he wanted a star on each hat like at the top and I've never done anything like that before. So this is what I have so far. I've actually made the hat and took it apart like I'm not even kidding, like five or six times. So I have the yarn for this hat, but the other hat that he wants is a different color that I don't have. So I'm gonna go get some yarn for that. Guess what I found? My boyfriend has never seen Harry Potter, which is crazy. So we're currently watching all of the movies. Now I kind of want to read the books I found. The Chamber of Secrets. So I'm really excited because I get to read this now. Yeah, and then I just went to Joann's and Michael's and for some reason, I don't know if it's just the Joann's and Michael's here like near me, but they just suck. Like they don't have any yarn. Everything is always out of stock and it's just not good. I was really disappointed. I got some red yarn and then yellow because I'm doing a commission that uses these two colors. It's kind of like a weird time in between lunch and dinner. So I'm just gonna eat these veggies. I bought the big one this time because normally I buy the small one and eat it so quick, but if I buy the big one, then I never finish it on time. Anyways, I'm gonna finish up these veggies and then I also made a little protein shake for dessert. I feel like my more recent vlogs are more about like me making things, but some people like more lifestyle stuff. So I feel like we can do like a really chatty vlog this time, but um, look what I found. If you don't know what this is, I didn't know it either, but it came with the tag, so I actually think this is for like making rugs, but we'll see if it works on this. Basically, you're supposed to like put your hook in, it's supposed to be like a more comfortable grip. I guess it does work because it fits. <laughs> Has anyone ever tried anything like this? I see people making them with like clay and stuff. Once I learn how to use it, I think it'll be fine, but right now. I just feel like it's gonna make me really slow. I will say I don't have to use my, move my elbow that much. When I crochet, the pain isn't in my wrist, it's more in my elbow. And that's only after like a long time crocheting. So we'll see if this helps with the elbow pain, but I think I'm gonna just sit and watch a show or something while I crochet. Okay, like I said, we're watching all the Harry Potter movies right now. So I thought, I could set up like a nice little movie theater kind of in our living room and Elliot's on his way home from work, so. So I basically just blew up this air mattress and then I have some candles going and some tea. And this is my whip. Right now it's a matching scarf and headband. I'm sure I'll show you guys later once I'm finished. So yeah, we're just gonna watch Harry Potter tonight. I feel like we should be doing this more often, like blowing up the air mattress because we don't have a TV in our bedroom. So I feel like this is real cozy and fun and it's kind of like a switch up from just sitting on the couch. Hi, it's like 4 p.m. I haven't left the house yet. I've just been working on commissions all day, but I finally finished them. Since I've been sitting on the couch all day, I think I need to go for a walk. I'm gonna go print some flyers for my knitting workshop and then maybe scope out some places where I can hang them up downtown. I don't have like push pins. I need to buy push pins and clear tape, like packaging tape, because I have to ship out some orders too. I'm also gonna start a new project. I have this Hobie yarn and I'm gonna try to make like a little bonnet because I just love head accessories, clearly. So I wanna knit a little bonnet. I'm gonna start with this color. It's, I think it's the shade Misty Green. It's the Portobello yarn. It's 60% cotton, 28% acrylic and 12% wool. So I feel like this would be nice because wool gets really itchy on my head. So it's not too much wool. Um, it's mostly cotton. So yeah, let's go. Hi, haven't done much today. I've just been working on cleaning because I feel like I've just been making it such a big mess. I have like yarn and clothes everywhere, so I just had to put all that stuff away. And I was also packing orders, so I wanted to show you guys. 
it's just a beanie if you want a hand knit beanie i have a few on my website still but this is for taylor and i know she watches my videos because she's left me a few comments before so if you're watching taylor hi thank you i hope you love your beanie um and then i wanted to show you guys and i also get to bring my little ghost stamp back out and then I think I'm gonna film a video today if the lighting is okay. It's just gonna be like the third everything I made this year. I did one January through March, and then I think I did one April through June. So this will be July through September. I literally pushed my couch up against the wall to film this video. And I actually really like how it looks, but like it just looks so empty here. Anyways, I just filmed everything I made recently. Of course, everything is piled here next to me where I was filming, but go check it out if you haven't seen it already. It should be out for this video. Okay, when I was going to the post office earlier, it started pouring rain, so I had to wait till it stopped so I could walk. I tried to drive, but I couldn't find anywhere to park, so I'm just like, I just waited it out. So now I'm gonna drop this off. Me and my sweet treat outfit. Wait, let me see. We're going to the fair today, which I'm super excited about. I'm gonna get dressed and I'll take you to the fair with me. I'm also making a little bit of progress on my bonnet. I like knit this little panel and now I'm doing like the around stitches and then it should just like build out. I really don't know what to expect, but we're just gonna experiment and see how it goes and yeah. <laughs> Be quiet tonight, guys. You figure out when you win it. You pick out. It's now Monday. The rest of the weekend was really chill. I think on Saturday, I got home at like seven. And I think I was asleep by like 10 p.m. on a Saturday night. Like I was so tired. And then yesterday was just kind of like a Sunday reset day. I just did some chores. We had a volleyball game and then I went grocery shopping. I'm gonna go walk to the library because I have to print a few shipping labels and finish editing a video and then just answer emails and stuff like that. I'm gonna bring my book and then this crochet project that I've been trying to finish up for when I take breaks instead of like sitting on my phone. I feel like it's a more productive like break time activity, but I need some coffee, so let's go. Good morning, I am packing orders right now. I'm gonna try to spend most of the day at the library, but I do wanna come home and finish up the scarf. These beanies are so warm i also sold this beret that's been on my website for a long time so now it's kind of more like hot season i feel like i want to make more of these oh and also sorry i'm all over the place right now but also that commission that i was doing earlier this week with the star i don't know if i showed you guys me trying it on because it was a little bit too big on me so i don't think i filmed me like trying it on but but i was so worried that he wasn't gonna like it or he wasn't gonna like the fit of it because he wanted it to be like a bucket hat but not super buckety where it's like 
the brim is very distinguished from like the rest of the hat. Um, but he also wanted the star on top. So it was kind of like, took me a long time to figure out how to get it. So it was like the shape that he wanted with the star on top. I don't think he watches my videos, but I keep seeing him post in the hat. So that makes me so happy that he's actually wearing it and that he likes it. So I'm really happy about that. Anyways, I'll see you in a little bit. This vlog has just been me talking so much, but I feel like that's good if people are like working on their projects in the background, just have someone to talk to them. Either way, thanks for being here. It's really fun for me to talk to you guys, so I hope you guys enjoy that too. Today I just sat at the library and got a bunch of stuff done. So I'm gonna go for a run and I made mushroom soup last night and I'm gonna eat it with a grilled cheese, I think because I have some leftover and I think it's gonna be really good together. Here's my running outfit. Okay, funny story. I was gonna go on a run and then I started getting period cramps, which is one thing that like really puts me out. Normally I'm good like mentally fighting through whatever and like pushing myself to work out anyways, but cramps are just not one of those things that I can get past. So I decided it will probably be better if I just sit on the couch. I'm gonna not try to feel so guilty about it, but yesterday the same thing happened where I was on my run and I had really bad period cramps. I literally came home, showered, and then laid in bed for like three hours before dinner. Um, and then I ended up like cooking really late and stuff. So I just feel like it's best if I just kind of chill out tonight. Sorry for hyping that up. I still wanted to show my outfit though, so I'm gonna leave that part in. But what would make me feel better is a grilled cheese and mushroom soup. So that's what we're gonna do instead. There's also a ton of good YouTube that's come out. Or like, my favorite YouTubers have been posting like today. So I might as well just catch up on some YouTube while I have the TV to myself. Very simple grilled cheese. We have sourdough. No other butter suffices. It has to be carry gold. Um, we're gonna put it in our pan. And my mushroom soup is also heating up at the same time. Okay, I just got this. I don't think I've ever tried it before, so I'm gonna put a little bit on the grilled cheese. Really just like a very small amount more for the flavor. Shredded cheese, and then I also added some Parmesan. I'm just gonna cover it for like a minute or two and let it kind of melt a little bit. And then I'm gonna drizzle hot honey, put arugula, and then put the sandwich together and then flip it. Final product. It looks so good, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Hi, it's now Wednesday. I'm actually right now gonna go talk to this lady. She emailed me about doing a little knitting workshop or like some type of making workshop. It's a newer brewery. Like they have one in Asheville, but they just built one here in Durham. So I think they wanna do like a maker's Monday kind of thing. So there's like a class every Monday. So she asked me if I was interested in teaching a class and I was like, hell yeah, let's do it. So I'm gonna go meet with her today and we're gonna chat a little bit more about like the type of class. I have questions for her and she has questions for me. So I was like, why don't we just meet in person? So I'm wearing like kind of the same outfit that I was wearing on Monday. I'm wearing my son's crew neck because the D-backs just won. So I don't have any D-backs gear, but this will like be just representative of Arizona in general. <laughs> and then this dress with my Solomons. The meeting went super well. I had a good time chatting with her, but guys, I finished two whips last night. These are the projects that I've been working on the last week and I finished them both last night. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick. So I made a scarf and this little headband. I was chatting online with a new friend, a new internet friend, her name is Emma. Hi Emma, if you're watching this. And she was showing me these arm warmers that she made and I was obsessed with like the pattern of it. And I asked her, how did you do that? And she was like, you literally just crochet like a single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet. And then in the next row, you single crochet into the double crochets and you double crochet into the single crochets, which sounds confusing, but it's really not. And it makes this cute little hound's tooth pattern. So shout out to Emma for showing me this. So I made this headband, which was kind of like my practice run on this stitch pattern. I look bald. I love it and I loved it so much that I made a matching scarf and this is what was taking me so long because I made it 
pretty long. So it's like a little scarf and headband set. And I'm debating if I wanna put like tassels on the bottom. And I also finished my bonnet, which will look better once my bangs are out and like my hair is styled, but my hair is like so gross right now. So I'm gonna insert photos cause I'm not doing these justice cause I look kind of interesting right now. And I feel like that will show how these look a little bit better than how I'm showing you guys right now. But I'm so excited cause this is what I finished last night. Okay, and then one last thing, I was just watching Jenna Phipps video that she posted today or yesterday and she was making amigurumi and she made cute little halloween decorations which we have no halloween decorations up right now i feel like i kind of need to get on that and i want to make little amigurumi pumpkins and stuff I've just been taking pictures for Depop today. I put some stuff up. If you want to check it out, I'll link it. I'm kind of just trying to thin out my like vintage stock because I think I'm going to take a little break from markets. I don't know. I'm trying to like focus on too many things at once. I think taking a little bit of a break from the markets might help me like kind of sort out and like reassess my goals here. Yeah, I'm trying to like get rid of a lot of this stuff or else it just kind of like sits in the closet, which is so annoying. I just kind of have everything here but i forgot i wanted to show you guys the pumpkins i made i made two little pumpkins they're really not that great let me see where i can set you up they're so cute i definitely could have gone with a smaller hook especially on this one because you can kind of see the stuffing inside so i made this one and then this one and they're different sizes i basically just it's actually very easy i chained like 18 maybe for this one and then i think i chained like 12 for this one and then i just half double crocheted into the back loop only for like however many rows until it's like kind of a rectangle and then just slip stitch it together and then sew the bottom stuff it sew the top and then pull the end through so it makes it like more of a pumpkin shape and i did it like a few times so that's how i got the pumpkin shape yeah they're not perfect but i just needed a little bit of fall decor so now this is what my mantle is looking like i have my two little pumpkins this i just thrifted i just like the design of it my candles i need to replace them like they're almost out and then my little sheep i got this in galway when i was there it was a keychain but it ripped off my back this little mushroom and then i found a bunch of matches like vintage matches at um the scrap exchange they have a ginormous bucket this one's really cool that's my mantle Anyways, I feel like this has been like a very, very long vlog, so I think I'm gonna cut it here. Um, maybe I'll start a new vlog, because I'm doing some fun stuff this weekend too. So maybe I'll start a new vlog and show you. Oh, one more thing, oh my God. And then one more thing before I go, I've been working on another bonnet. This one is a thicker yarn, and I kind of like the shape of this one better than the thinner one. Like this is definitely more of like a winter one, and I'm trying to decide if I wanna do, because I still need to do ribbing around the front part, so I'm trying to decide if I wanna do purple or red. Like that's what red would look like. Or just purple, I think I'm gonna do the red. I don't know what it looks like from behind, honestly. Oh my God, I'm so excited to be making bonnets. I've never made a bonnet before. That was my first one that I made the other day. I kind of just like guessed on how to do it. Um, basically just knit a panel, picked up stitches around, and then knit down, and then added the straps. Now I'm going to say thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.